Alright, so since I have been going down the rabbit hole, down the 16 witchy question videos, I figured I might as well make it my swell, my swell, swell, myself. <laughs> uh, I figured why not try it out. It's been a while since anyone else has done these. I'm a little bit way late to the bang wagon, but hey, it's a good way to get to know me and go throughout it. So, let's go. Number one, do you have a witchy name and how did you come to it? I do not have a witchy name. Um, I haven't felt the need for one quite yet, although I'm still very new to my craft. So, my name is Sam and the name of this channel is Samhain, um, and I just chose that because even though you don't pronounce the M, at least not the way you do in English, then it's still there. Sam is still in Samhain, and I just liked it, so, but that's just a YouTube channel. People call me Sam, I always introduce myself as Sam. That might change in the future, who knows, but until then, that's what's gonna be. Where are you located, what brought you there, and were you born there? Um, I currently live in Phoenix, Arizona, America. Um, I came here after graduating grad school and to move in with my parents for a while since they had just recently moved here. No, I'm not going to stay here. I was not born here. Uh, I was born in Chicago and I loved Chicago, but it was really, really cold and I really just, you know, not my thing. I love the four seasons though and I really miss rain, so living in the desert for me, no not a thing that's gonna go on. It's monsoon season right now, so it's fantastic, but no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna keep doing that. Coffee, coffee makes it a little better. Your favorite place, space, or pool? No, no, that's number four. Rewind. That's number three. Uh, do you wear a special amulet or jewelry for spell work? I haven't done too many spells. I haven't done that many spells quite yet. So, no, I do always wear just all the time is this lovely Celtic symbol that I bought at a Renaissance Fair. Can you even see that? A little bit of a boob shot, but hey. I wear that pretty much every day non-stop, so it is on me during ritual. Um, I'm of the mind. I love to do ritual sky clad. Um, that's, I've always been just, I don't like clothes. I don't feel the need to wear them all the time anyway. So, I do like doing ritual without anything on, but the necklace will always stay on because it's always on, it's never coming off. And yeah, no, everything else, I really don't have particular things that I wear for any ritual spell work that I do. Um, number four, finally, what's your favorite place or space? Here in Arizona, um, I just uploaded, my last video was of the guard, private garden space that my uh, parents' house shares with um, like seven other neighbors, that's it. Like, it's very quiet. It's got a whole bunch of like waterfalls, beautiful flowers, grasses, and all these different types of trees. There's a pine, there's palm trees, just like everything you can imagine. Um, and my grandmother, when she was still alive, built this beautiful rose garden. Ah! Spilling things. Out. Um, my grandmother built. I was attempting to do a video originally, it's just talking straight through, but I have it since then mumbled, messed up the questions, and spilled my coffee, so this is gonna be edited. Ah. Uh, Lulu, mommy is doing a video. This cat cannot let me do anything. Come here. Then you're gonna have to say hi. Eat a boo-boo. It only wants attention when it wants it. Can you sit on my lap and then be okay? What do you think? No. Anywho, my favorite place is probably the garden that my uh, grandmother put together with all her roses that looked back out in the public one that I just did my meditation walk video in. Here in Arizona, that's probably my favorite place. Um, it's just absolutely gorgeous and it doesn't feel like you're in the desert, which I love. Um, in the world though, I, any place that's in a forest with pine trees. Um, number six, how long have you been practicing? No one. Keep reading ahead. This is not okay. Rewind. What's your favorite stone or crystal for magic workings? Um, I haven't done much work with crystal work. I've always been very drawn to tiger's eye in general. I've been collecting crystals for a very long time now. Like it's, I do it all the time. I've been doing it since I was young. My grandmother was really into collecting crystals. My dad loved to collect, I guess, more rocks instead of crystals. Is what he calls them, but there's a lot of crystals in there. It's minerals and crystal work. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, so I love having crystals around me, so I've always, I've, Tiger's Eyes are my favorite. That and, oh is it, 
in general, I heard always about this crystal called Rose, no, Desert Rose, there we go. Desert Rose, that's just so pretty and everything. And I didn't ever realize I already had a huge one. Look at that, that is so pretty. All about it. So yeah, and I don't know, just because of the shape of it, because it just fits like just perfectly in my hand for like holding and meditating if I grasp it. And yeah, I don't know, just there's something about it where when I'm really needing inspiration, I guess. How long have you been practicing and how did you come to this path? <laughs> I came to this path about a month ago, literally a month. It has been on August 2nd, which is like really soon, it'll be a month. I have always been interested in spiritual stuff. Um, I've kind of weaved in and out of it. I've always, I've been drawn to tarot cards and their readings and uh, metaphysical interesting things and I've always cared about the earth and it was really funny how there was all these separate, I felt they were separate interests and then it was when I finally did explore Wicca and um, witchcraft that I was like, oh one that's a real thing that people, a lot of people do and it's awesome and the more I go into it I was like this is all the things I like coming together harmoniously in a great way. So that's why I decided to dive in and do this. Um, and the whole reason I made this channel is because I knew and I want a community and I want to talk with people and learn things. So yeah, no, one month, that's it. Baby witch here, what's up? Um, do you have a deity or goddess and how did you come to connect with them? Uh, it's only been a month, but there is a goddess that has been calling to me a lot. Um, I haven't really looked into much of deity working deity into your practice, so it's kind of there, kind of not. I really am drawn to Persephone. I feel like she's just been kind of like putting all these things out there, whether they're um, actual characters in comic books named Persephone, or just like weird workings of the Hades Persephone storyline, that very like equal but duality thing that's happening where they both come to an agree like that is showing up in a lot in the characters that I just am drawn to in general. I kind of feel like she's been poking me for a long time going, hey, 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 what's up, Mape? Come over here, come over here, focus over here. I look over, over here. So yeah, I don't know. That, it might be something I'm interested in. I'll have to do a lot more work, meditation, sketching, all sorts of stuff about it. Um, what is your favorite incense or smudge? Uh, <laughs> just tried sage two days ago. I'm not the biggest fan. I did not realize what that would smell like. But I have made all these sage sticks now and I bought a couple and yeah, no, we'll see. I really love the scent of lavender, though I haven't used it in any um, incense or spell work. I did just buy this amazing incense because I heard so many people raving about it on YouTube, Dragon's Blood. Oh my god. If you haven't bought it, take a minute. Go out, pause the video. I'll wait. I don't care. Go buy it. Go order it right now. It's so good. Oh, I just, I, I need, I need more. I need to light it now. I need, I, I brought it up and now I need to have it. Let the smell radiate. It smells so nice. Have you ever had a clear space of negative of a negative entity? Nope. Uh, what is your favorite witchy show or movie? I'm rewatching Charmed right now, just to get me in the witchy mood all the time. It makes me happy. Uh, I always love Piper because the freezing and the exploding, and I just love her character development in general. It's just from Miss Insecure about herself to like basically that badass older sibling that had to step up. Love it. What do you do to help raise energy before spell work? I am very big into my alone time. So, and by that I mean I'm not doing any spell, any ritual, anything like that. If I cannot be alone for a good like 45 minutes beforehand, like I need to make sure that I'm like me, nobody else. Like other people I guess could like close off early and then like focus through the ritual and maybe move on. I am not that way, I need to like, Make sure it's all flowing. I like just to like make sure all my chakras are aligned, good to go. Everything's flowing, moving, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't really do yourself helping others magically. What? What do you mean by this? This is where I get confused. Like, 
doing spells for people? No. No, 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 no. My energy and your energy, no need to mix. If you want to con contact yourself and figure that out, cool. Um, of course, like doing tarot readings or stuff for people. Maybe. That might be. Or I guess giving them, like, if I blessed, because I'm an artist too, so if I blessed a drawing or a sketch that I've done and then sent it to them, I could maybe do that for, like, my sister or somebody. But I don't think I would do that for most anybody else. I what is your preferred form of divination? Tarot cards. Oh, I love them. I've been using... Where did I get my first deck? Oh, God. Like four years now, now? Four years now? Yeah, four. So I got my first deck. Um, my mom bought it for me just because I've always been kind of interested in it, and she noticed I was eyeing one. And then she totally bought an entirely separate deck that I was not thinking she was going to get for me, and I was like, oh, this looks ugly. Actually, I love it. Um... Yeah, I, I just love tarot cards. Uh, tea, re tea leaves have also been kind of interesting for me, and there's a bunch of different levels of stuff, but I've never really been um, drawn to any of them quite yet. I want to research as much as I can, see what's out there, but right now it's tarot cards. I love tarot cards. Um, I've been playing with the more really in-depth researching each particular card, and actually I think what I'm going to do for a series of videos is I'm going to kind of like talk over my research that I have found with each card and draw out my own deck so each video would be that. Um, so hopefully that'll be fun and then something else if anyone else is researching tarot or is interested at all they can see and then hopefully then I'll have my own self-created deck which is kind of something I've always wanted to do for the last several years in general and now that I'm on this uh, Wiccan witchy path might as well jump into it now. Mm. I bet a witch invented coffee. She was just like, put the beans with the water, it's good. What element do you work with the most? Air. I'm a Gemini, air sign. Um, I've always been obsessed. It's funny what the things I'm kind of obsessed with. Like, I love fire. Like, I've always been like kind of like obsessed with like watching flames and stuff. But and everyone always thought it was like a pyromania. Like, I like to light the fire thing. But it's more of a smoke. Like, I love watching smoke rise up and how it comes off of things which i think that's very it's way more air than it is fire and it's a combination of the two but it's the air element of fire that i'm drawn to um same thing with storms i love storms and rain so much but it's how the air feels when it's raining it's how the um that calm before the storm is actually what my favorite weather is when all the wind is picking up and there's like all this energy in the air that is what my favorite ultimate weather is. So, air, no matter what. What, if you threw a party, which of the YouTube witches would you invite? All of them, because you are all pretty damn awesome, the ones I've found so far. I've never met more welcoming people. Every person I've commented on has always commented back. People interact great. Every video I've watched has always been like, if it works for me, great. If it doesn't then work for you, then adapt it, change it, make it your own. There's so many different ways to path, which I think this really freaking awesome about witches in general. What's the next one? And number 16. What are your witchy goals for the new year? Tarot cards. <laughs> uh, I guess it's, basically it's just been because my path started a month ago so I think this year is really just going to be me getting every the basics down as much as I can and then focusing from there. One thing I really want to focus on um, artistically in general is tarot cards so I'll probably really focus on that and the self work that that can do and mix in with the rest of my craft but yeah mostly just developing my craft. This video I'll put up will probably be my vlog about how llamas goes since it'll be my first witchy holiday so excited. One of the sabbaths. Is it a sabbath? I think it's a sabbath. Mm, maybe? Maybe not? Who knows? Uh, anyway if you I tag anyone else who wants to do this, especially new witches, do this video. I think it's a great way to get to know each other. I'll put the 16 questions down below. Uh, thank you to uh, Ravenflower for making these questions. And yeah, that's all for now. <laughs> Farewell.